Hello, welcome back. Well, <clears throat> as you can see, I'm not holding my Beretta 690. I'm holding my spare gun, the ATA. It's a Turkish made gun. And why am I holding this gun? Well, it's got a Beretta sticker on it because I had a spare sticker, but it is the ATA Turkish made. It's a copy of the uh, Silver Pigeon. I'm not holding my ATA because last Sunday it broke. The inertia block lever broke. It broke three years ago and it broke again last Sunday. That's twice. And that's a middle level gun. It's not cheap. It's not dear. It's sort of in the middle. And um, it uh, the first barrel fires, but it doesn't reset to fire the um, second barrel. So that's really disappointing. And that was the Beretta 690. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad gun. I've been happy with it and I've sh shot reasonably well with it. But to break twice in five years, that is a little bit disappointing. The ATA, I'll just make a point about triggers. The ATA has mechanical triggers and the 690 that broke has inertia block levers. So with a mechanical trigger, when you fire the first shot, the trigger pull mechanically gets ready for the next shot. In an inertia block, the recoil of the gun sets it up for the next shot. Now, I just want to make one point. Some people say that in inertia block uh, guns, you get a quicker firing rate for your second shot. Now, I don't believe that's true, and I'm going to show you why. Empty gun. I'm going to put in two snap caps. <clears throat> With an inertia, with, it, with an inertia, I've got to just drop the snap cap. With the, with the inertia block gun, you, you have to, when you want to pack your gun away and release the tensions of the, the triggers, you fire the first firing pin into the blank, and then you've got to hit the gun like that, and it resets for the second trigger. With a mechanical trigger system like this one, you just put in your snap caps and you can go boom, boom. And this is how quickly a mechanical trigger gun fires. Now, how's an inertia recoil gun gonna be quicker than that? That is pretty, that is pretty quick. So there it is again, mechanical triggers. And you can just go you're not going to fire the second shot any quicker than that. Anyway, the main point of this video is about concentration. We can get into a comfort zone and we start to accept scores that are below our ability. And I reckon I've been doing that the last year or so. I was in double A and then... Um, I decided to, I, my scores were going down a bit. Remember, I lost weight and all that. And my scores get down. So I've spent the last year in A grade. And, and I, was doing, I was doing well in A grade, you know, winning a few competitions and stuff. But now I'm back in double A. And so I've got to concentrate again if I, if I ever want to win another event because they're good shooters. And so what is this concentration? It's not easy to concentrate for 25 targets or if it's a 50 target event for 50 targets. So we've got to, same foot position all the time. Our gun mount's got to be the same and you've got to concentrate on that. Our gun hold point has got to be the same. Our visual hold point has got to be the same. When we look out into the distance for the target, we give our eyes a few seconds to adjust sometimes you call for a target and you're not even ready and you think well why'd I call for it that's when you get into the comfort zone and you're not really serious and then of course you've got to track the target you've got to look at that target as if your life depends on it and then of course fire at the right time with the mental images pictures sight pictures that we have in our head so concentrate and our scores will improve. But you've got to do everything all the time. 
As soon as you get a different foot position, it, then you can't swing properly to the target. When you get a bit slack with your gun mount, you think, oh, this is easy. And then sometimes we put our gun up and it doesn't feel the same and we're too lazy to put it down and remount it. If you're happy to miss the next target, then don't remount the gun. Concentration. Okay. I want to thank two people, Bruno Quincy and Darren Nicholas. They lent me their guns last Sunday when mine broke. And Bruno's got an ASE Gold. And uh, Darren Nicholas lent me his DT-10, very nice, DT-11, very nice guns. And so, remember, the last video for this year, concentration. We've got to, when we get out on that layout, we are there to break clays. We, are, we can have fun afterwards. Concentration, very hard to do, 50 times. Okay. Well, it's two days to Christmas. I want to sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching these videos. Thank you for your support. I enjoy doing them and thank you for watching them. I hope they're useful and I will see you in the new year. And 2020 has been a very difficult year with the coronavirus and I hope that you and all your family are well. And once again, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Stay well, stay safe, and happy shooting. And I'll see you again soon.